Hi folks, hope you're doing well. Blake here and I'm back with another monthly music guide. The guide where I talk about five local musicians and some recent releases that they've got out that you can listen to. For anyone that's new to the series, I put all the links to all the music I mention and the musicians themselves in the description below. And I've actually started a Spotify playlist with every musician that I've mentioned on the series and go and check out all the songs there. And again, that is in the description below, so make sure to check it out. As always, I'm just gonna mention, it's so important to support live music and local music venues. So make sure to go and check out these live musicians and go and see them live when you can again. And with venues opening up, hopefully that will be fairly soon. Okay, let's get on with the list. Okay, so first this month we've got alternative artist The Kid and I. Now The Kid and I, I mentioned previously on the show, and The Kid and I, um, whose real name is Jacob, has just followed up with another release, so this is called Hey. So Hey features Jennifer Glatzhofer, she is a singer and a singing teacher, a really talented vocalist from Hertfordshire. And The Kid and I is an alternative project, so some really great kind of indie music. The song is a lot of reverb, a lot of kind of phaser guitar, it's really quite nice experimental to listen to. And it's a love song between people that are coming together to kind of find reunited love, which of course is a big thing, especially during COVID, we can all kind of understand that sort of feeling. It's got some really good lyrics and some really great choir-like vocals with some cool guitar pieces in the back. So here's a little bit of the single, this is from Spotify, it's called Hey by The Kid and I and Jennifer Glatzhofer. If you enjoyed that please be sure to go and check out The Kid and I on all streaming platforms and social media pages. Okay next up this month is Marcus Watson. Now Marcus is a really good friend of mine and a really nice guy. He plays lots of cover things so he does a lot of gigs where he plays cover songs and he does a lot of favourites, things like George Ezra and the Eagles and so on. But he's also really got into songwriting and he's written some really great stuff. So long time viewers of the channel might remember I actually went to see Marcus perform last year. That was part of a kind of lockdown gig, so a gig held at a venue with social distancing and everything. That was a really cool experience uh, and the video's here just in case you want to go and watch that and haven't seen it yet. And Marcus has really hit his songwriting stride recently. He's often recording lots of stuff, so his music's not yet on streaming platforms, but you should definitely go and check it out. He releases a lot of stuff on social media and he's constantly gigging around Hertfordshire and beyond. And he's just written this song, it's called Late Night Coffee, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So here is a stream of Late Night Coffee. This is Marcus Watson's original and from his Facebook page. I was all alone Looking down the tracks Wishing I was back When the last train came I was on the platform Stepped into the carriage And I made my way home Home's a place I love to be With my wife, my family Home's a place you yeah, long to be it's my magical century It's the time we spend with each other That makes it better When we're singing and dancing And we're doing some things together Marcus has a great kind of folky voice and a really sort of infectious energy. You'll really enjoy watching him and I've really liked performing alongside him and watching him when I've been in the audience. So definitely make sure to go and check out his music. 
Okay, so next up we've got a really cool collaborative single. So Mel Quinn, I've actually mentioned on the show before, she's a really kind of quirky and talented singer-songwriter. She released a song not too long ago now, it's called Selfish Personality, and I spoke about that in a previous video, so definitely go and check that single out. And she is releasing a song, and it's alongside a band or a collective kind of group of musicians that are called Haberlis. They're based in Bedfordshire. It's really sounding quite uppy and uh, a poppy style. The music sounds really great. Actually, all we have at the moment is a teaser trailer for it, which I'll show in a minute. And the song is actually released on the 2nd of April on all streaming platforms, so just after the end of March. But I really like the sound of the song, so I just wanted to show it to you. This is called Love Malfunction, and the links for Mel Quinn and Havilis, as always, are in the description below. So here's the little teaser trailer for Love Malfunction by Havilis featuring Mel Quinn. begins to generate as mentioned that song's released at the very beginning of April so I'll add it to my Spotify playlist once it's released you can access that playlist down below and if you follow it you'll get to hear Love Malfunction on the day it's released make sure to go and check out Habilis and Mel Quinn also this month is Jordan Daniels now Jordan is the lead singer and lead guitarist for Black River Dogs a really talented outfit but he also writes his own music, he's a songwriter too. He's very active actually on YouTube, so make sure to go and check out his YouTube. And he's written some really great pieces on there. So one of these songs is called You Can Dream. It's got some amazing kind of lead guitar work, a lot of bends and it's quite atmospheric. And Jordan's got a really great kind of raw rock voice, it's kind of a soft rock song. Make sure to go and check it out. But here is a little bit from YouTube of his original song, You Can Dream. Okay, and lastly is a new release from Indie and the Vegas. Now, I've spoken about Indie and the Vegas before. They're a really talented rock and kind of pop band, but they definitely include lots of different genres, so it's, it's kind of hard to say exactly what they do. But they write really great music. I've spoken about some of their releases before. They've just released a tune called Back Again. It's really great. It's got some kind of meaty guitar parts. And it's got some electro influence as well. It reminds me a little bit of Muse. And Indy's voice is really fantastic, especially on this record. Now, Indy and the Vegas are planning lots of summer events and lots of things towards the end of this year. So make sure to go and check them out on their website and stay up to date on their social media pages. Here is Back Again by Indy and the Vegas. So thank you very much for watching. This was my monthly music guide this time for March 2021. If you liked it, please leave a like and comment to let me know and please share it with other people to support local music. 
please make sure to go and check out the musicians that I've mentioned. And if you are a musician or someone that knows about some local music and some great new releases, get in touch with me to let me know. And I'll be sure to talk about them in a future version of this video. Also, if you're new to the channel, please click that little subscribe button and notification bell buttons. Then you'll get notified every time I do a video, which is about every week. And I do lots of musical content. So as well as things like covers and originals, I do musical vlogs, promotion, things like this, and also guitar lessons. Thanks for your support. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next time. Two, sat by the lake 